Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is David Hyman, your tour guide in Israel. Today's tour is by the beautiful Kinneret, Lake Kinneret, the cemetery of the pioneers. And we're gonna follow the story of one of Israel's icons, Rachel HaMeshoreret, Rachel the poet. So friends, this is the story of Rachel. There is not one Israeli that doesn't, has not heard of this young woman. Uh, every one of us can sing at least three or four of her songs. Uh, she is known just by her uh, surname, Rachel. And uh, she, is, she is even on our money. If you open your 20 shekel note, you will see a picture of Rachel. She died young, she died at the age of 40. She was born in Russia in the 1890s and died here in Tel Aviv in 1930. So she only lived until the age of 40. So how come this one woman gets to get on our money and gets to be known just by one name and everyone in the country loves her so much. So stay tuned and we'll tell you all about the story of Rachel and the pioneers of Israel. This is the Kineret Courtyard, Chatzer uh, Kineret. Uh, this is the first place that uh, Rachel uh, visits when she comes here to the Sea of Galilee, to Lake Kineret. Uh, she's a group, she's part of a group of 14 young women under the direction of uh, Hannah Meisel. She's here to study, to become a farmer. Uh, the Zionists, the early pioneers were not just uh, entrepreneurs, they're also feminists. In this courtyard is uh, that famous meeting between Zalman Shazar, and uh, who was uh, later on one of our presidents. And he sees her and he can't believe he, her, his eyes. There's this young girl walking out uh, from to the fields with a flock of geese following her and her eyes are blue like the lake. And uh, it sounds as if he fell immediately in love with Rachel and uh, Noah just couldn't ignore how happy she was in her years here in the courtyard of Kineret, uh, learning to become a farmer. These would be the views she would have seen out of her window, the palm trees, the lake. This is where she met uh, people that later on became very influential in her life. These are all mem memories of her days here at uh, the Kineret courtyard, Chatzel Kineret. In 1913, Rachel decides to go to Europe and to study agriculture in France. Unfortunately, World War I started, so she returned to Russia and worked as a teacher of Jewish refugee children. During these years in Europe, Rachel was infected with tuberculosis, an infectious lung disease. After World War I ends, in 1919, Rachel returns to the land of Israel and joins her friends at Kibbutz Dganya. Dganya is Israel's first kibbutz, founded in 1910, and operates as a socialist farming collective. The kibbutz idea was a great success, and many more were founded, copying Kibbutz Dganya's model. There are now 250 active kibbutzim in Israel, Rachel is happy at Degania. She stays in the single women's dorms. She takes her meals in the communal dining room. She participates in all the culture activities. And she works on the farm and is also a teacher at the kibbutz kindergarten. But very soon, her health deteriorates. The other kibbutz members are worried. At first, she is asked to eat separately. Then they ask her to stay in her room and eventually she is asked to leave. 
Heartbroken, she moves to Tel Aviv. Lonely and ill, she writes most of her poems. They are published in the workers' paper, Davar, and they are received very well by the general audience. We love, we love uh, seeing uh, her, her songs and uh, all the children grow uh, with her uh, songs. This is like random, I, we don't know each other, we just met here yes, and so all of us, close. we can sing the whole song of Rachel without just from memory, huh? Yeah. The yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, This is uh, one of the most beautiful songs. It's called, um, Was It Only a Dream? Was it I who bathed in the innocent blue under a peaceful sky of my Galilee? Actually, it should be my Kineret, my own Kineret. Was it a dream or was it I? And these are the words that are on the money, the last words of this, the, fi the final words. Oh, my Kineret, was it you or was it just my dream? So thanks for touring with us today. I hope you enjoyed our tour of uh, in the footsteps of Rachel, the poet. Lake Kineret, Kibbutz Dganya. So if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And please write a comment. Let me know where you'd like to go on our next tour. And until then, Shalom Shalom. Take care. See you on our next tour.